Taiwan's worst drought in decades could further strain an already unstable global supply chain for production of the semiconductors that power the world's notebooks, monitors, TVs, smartphones, tablets, and cars. In an average year, Taiwan receives 2,500 millimeters of rainfall, the most of any OECD equivalent country, according to Taiwan Business Topics. However, while typhoons usually hit Taiwan from the east during the rainy season and help replenish reservoirs, in 2020, for the first time in 56 years, no typhoon made landfall. The effect has been a drastic drop in water supply, with water levels at the country's largest reservoir, Tsengwen, falling to their lowest in 15 years, and the Baihe Reservoir now completely dry, according to the AFP. Taiwan's semiconductor industry is vulnerable to the drop because its processes for cleaning chips and creating a hypersterile environment for their production are water-intensive. AFP reports its largest manufacturer, TSMC, alone goes through 156,000 metric tons of water a day. Other sectors are also vulnerable. According to the CIA World Factbook, industry uses 10% of Taiwan's water supply. Households use 20% and agriculture up to 65%, despite the latter contributing just 1.8% of GDP. Lack of storage capacity makes Taiwan vulnerable to climate change. Citing Taiwan's Water Resources Agency, Taiwan Business Topics reports reservoirs only constitute around 25% of its water supply, with rivers providing almost 50% and groundwater extraction 30%. Taiwan can store only around a month and a half's water requirement.